Hey YouTube, as you know this will be my last video for a little while. Before we uh, get started, um, I just wanted to offer you guys a very sincere thank you for uh, taking the time to watch my videos, to uh, post your thoughts, to, uh, that, you know, you guys have been subscribing and, and uh, you know, it really, really, uh, it helps me. It, it motivates me to continue. You know, when I, when I made my first video, um, at the end, I, I said that, you know, I, I told you what my lifetime goals were. I, I think it was, uh, at the time, 3,000 silver, 30 gold. I've upped the gold. But, uh, you know, I always saw it as, you know, before The Biggest Loser came on, I always, you know, you look at those pictures of the guys, right? And they show the before and after pictures. You know, suddenly he's he went from a, a, a skinny guy to really muscular. And, you know, if you try this product, you can get there in 60 days. And my thought was always, well, first of all, it's bogus, but it was always, why not show the process? Show him getting there. And then The Biggest Loser came out, and they kind of do that. Well, I always kind of envisioned my, my Silver Channel to be that way, right? I, I wanted to kind of document my journey to reach my lifetime goal, which when I, when I first said it, seemed pretty unattainable, in all honesty. I mean, that's... Uh, we're talking about literally uh, like $170,000 in, in, um, in, uh, in dollar value worth of metal. And, uh, you know, obviously I have a, a fairly modest income, but, you know, I, I, was, I was like, it'd be really fun to kind of document this. And the channel has obviously turned into a lot more than that. But the original premise really is the same. I want to document my journey to my goal. And I, I'm really uh, happy that you guys have decided to come along for the ride. It really, uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of, uh, saying life-changing is pretty, a pretty strong thing, but boy, it, it really has become a big part of my life. And uh, it's just been a really fun thing. And, uh, you know, thank you very much is what it really comes down to. So um, here's, here's the question I have for you guys. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want the big silver stack. And you know what? You can replace silver with gold, with cash, whatever it is. You can use a silver as a metaphor or you can take it literally. My point to you is how much do you want to take control of your finances? To take control of your life? Okay? I view silver and money in general, to be honest with you guys, as security, as peace of mind, and as freedom. Okay? I'm not saying, gee, I think silver is going to $1,000 an ounce so I can buy a Maserati, okay, with a vanity plate AG Silverfish VT. Not going to happen. That's just not the way I think. Okay, I don't think that this koala is going to buy me Trump Towers in 10 years. I don't. Okay, this is the way I, I, I save. This is the way I save my money. Okay, and it takes a lot of sacrifice. Now, we use the term sacrifice pretty liberally today, don't we? you think about the true origin of the word, I don't think not buying uh, a Starbucks on your way to work is really truly a sacrifice or, you know, me not drinking Diet Coke is a true sacrifice. But that's the way we use the term today. But really think about it. How bad do you want it? Are you willing to go through your budget line by line and trim every single bill a little bit where you can? You know, if you have an expense problem and you're spending too much money on stuff, are you willing to go through there and, and make the necessary changes? If you're in debt, are you willing to pay that debt off at the expense of not probably living like your friends are? Right? Your friends that aren't saving any money, but they, they seem like they're uh, living pretty high on the hog, doing things that you wish you could be doing. Are you willing to give that up? You know, uh, if, if, it's a, if it's an issue with money coming into you, are you willing to take that extra, extra shift of overtime? Are you willing to get a second job? Are you willing to sell off some of the stuff that you've accumulated over the years? I have a thought exercise for you guys. I want you to think about this, okay? Think about 10 years ago, what you were spending your money on. And be honest, just, just take a moment and really think about it. I know it's hard to remember in some cases, you know, where you're buying a Motorola flip phone, it looked really cool because that's what they look, look like a, uh, a communicator from Star Trek. You know, what were you blowing your money on? And answer me this. Would you have rather have put that money into $6 silver eagles? Do a little silver math. It'll be depressing, I promise. I've done it. But really think about it. What would you rather have today? This or something that's rotting in a landfill somewhere? 
I want you to come up with something, anything, that you were happy that you purchased 10 years ago. And wedding rings don't count. Necessities don't count. Anything extra, frivolous, whatever, that you spent money on. And you know what, guys? Maybe the answer is I'm very happy with everything I spent. But if it's not, let me promise you this. When you look at the money that you spend today, I can pretty much promise you that 10 years from now, you're going to have the same view. You're going to wish that you were saving money. You're, you, you're going to wish that you took some control of your finances. And you're going to wish that you, uh, you were out of debt. You really have no choice but to start today, guys. You know, uh, you know I'm, I'm rehashing some of my older points, but uh, one of my favorite um, proverbs was the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. I really, really, really feel strongly that that is what it's really all about when it comes to uh, saving and turning your life around. You really can't go through life uh, regretting what happened in the past. You can't change it. You can't. All you can worry about is this point forward. And I can promise you, your 2023 self will be thanking you if you take the right steps. Okay, the other thing I want you to do is I want you to think about the thing that you enjoy most that's free. Okay, and it could literally, and I'll, I'll tell you mine, honestly. Um, there is nothing I like better than going out in the backyard with my kids and either throwing the baseball with my son or kicking the soccer ball with my daughter. Nothing. Okay, it's peaceful, it's free, and it's spending time with my kids. You know, maybe, uh, maybe you enjoy going over to a buddy's house and watching a baseball game. You know, maybe you enjoy having friends over and uh, playing a small game of cards. Whatever it is. Do what you enjoy without feeling like you need to go out and spend a ton of money. And you can focus on that. And you know, as you, go, as, as you progress through this, you start realizing that all the stuff that you used to spend your money on, you just don't need it. It's not, it, they're not necessities, guys. They're small luxuries in today's world. So you really need to just ask yourself a simple question. How bad do I want it? How bad do I want to start building that silver stack? How bad do I want to start taking responsibility for my finances and working to build it up? It's not easy. It is not easy, especially in today's world. <clears throat> but you know what? It's doable. I promise you guys, if I can do it on my income, it's doable. There's just not a lot of extra stuff out there for me. And I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm at peace with it. Okay? Because right now, after uh, stacking for about a year and a half and getting to this level, I can tell you this, I sleep much better at night. I feel more in control. I feel just more empowered. And every, everything is kind of falling in place because of it. You know, it's, um, there's a lot in the world today that, is, uh, that will bring you down. It's depressing. It's powerful. And you know what? If you can kind of take control of the one thing that you have some control over, and that's you, you'll be shocked at how everything will start kind of falling into place. Okay? I told you uh, before, build your relationships as, as, as strongly as you build your stack, as aggressively as you build your stack. Um, we're very plugged in today. Right? We, we live in a technology world and we're all plugged in. And you know what? The human, humans aren't really programmed for that, for being disconnected. You know, they're used to being hugged. They're used to being touched. They're used to being loved. Okay? And, and the computer and the cell phone and everything else doesn't love you back. So take care, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Like I said, uh, it'll be a little while. But um, just really ask yourself these questions. How bad do you want it? Take care.